The multi-award winning romantic thriller, Guru of Chai. At the Maidman Theatre in Auckland, fresh from sellout seasons in Sydney and Singapore, and a sold out New Zealand tour last year. Maybe you're looking for a relationship, mental, physical connection. Maybe you're lonely in your relationship. Maybe when you were young... The story starts uh, in a railway station, and um, our uh, narrator, the guru, uh, whose name is Kutasa, he is a chaiwala, a tea seller in this railway station, and he comes across seven sisters who are abandoned uh, by their father in the railway station and bring the whole station to a standstill with the beauty of their singing. Um, Kurosawa's life becomes entwined with theirs and uh, as the story unfolds. More than 20,000 people have seen the show. But it began in a very, very small way. We began doing the show in, in people's living rooms. Uh, we'd play sometimes to 20, 30 people in a very intimate kind of setting. And that was really lovely because it, it was one of the inspirations for the show to have that lovely connection, direct connection with the audience. And you see that in some of the things that happen in the show where the performer talks directly to the audience. And, and that intimate experience that you have, it's the thing you can only get in the theatre. You can't get it in the movies, you can't get that from television. Co-writer and performer Jacob Rajan plays a plethora of offbeat characters, including seven sisters, a policeman, a poet, and a parrot. This is not good for me. I very worry, worry. I try to see... Um, the story is, it's, it's a storytelling piece with, uh, um, uh, where I have to portray, I think at last count it was 16 characters, 16 different characters, using, changing my voice and my body to, to delineate each one. Um, I'm assisted by Dave, the musician, who, who plays um, a sort of mute uh, sidekick to the, the guru. Um, but the soundtrack is a sort of living uh, performer on stage uh, that supports the action and is, is critical to telling the story. Originally, I was when we did the house performances, 30 house performances, I had, uh, was operating lights as well because it was just the two of us. Uh, touring around. Uh, they, once they took those away and gave them to an operator, um, I was given given a creative license to develop a little bit more of a character. So although I don't speak, um, I, I, I try to respond in every moment of the play to what's going, going on in the drama and what Jacob's doing. The play's Wellington performances earned it three Chapman Trip Theatre Awards last year. Best Play of the Year, Jacob is Best Actor, and David Ward winning Best Composer. Having three awards at the Chapman Trips on the same night is, is probably one of the highlights of, of my career. And it's, it's always, I mean, we get, we get such a fantastic response from the audience, but it's always nice to, to have the... Um, the acknowledgement of your peers. Hit it, Dave! Uh, well, for the Guru of Chai, I really tried to immerse myself in, in all kinds of Indian music, um, but I, uh, because it was set in a sort of the gritty setting of a, uh, a railway station, I really wanted to get a flavour of the sort of the street music of, of India and sort of the more folk tradition. Um, and so, so the songs are based on words which we found in a, um, in a book of folk tales from the, Indian, uh, f from the Indian folk tradition. And so we translated those into Malayalam, which is the, um, the dialect that, that Jacob's um, family speaks in, in Kerala. And uh, yeah, I took it from there. Winning three awards at the Chapman Trips is fantastic. It gives us a real boost of energy. It gives us real affirmation. The one that I'm most um, personally proud of is, is winning the award for the best new play because we've been working it to develop ourselves as writers, to make better stories, to tell our stories in more compelling ways. Guru of Chai is the fifth major production of the Indian Ink Theatre Company. It's been 15 years since the company was formed by Jacob and director Justin Lewis. Good morning. <laughs> We don't give change. Um, it all started with Krishnan's Dairy in, way back in 1997 in a tiny 100-seat 
Theatre in Wellington, Bats Theatre. Um, and then uh, we premiered Candlestick Maker, our second play at the International Arts Festival in Wellington. Oh, hello, ducky. <laughs> Come here, come here. Oh. Ow! Two years later, we came up with The Pickle King, which, uh, for the first time, we had uh, two other actors and myself and a live musician on stage. Hello. Ah. And by hotel, you tasted the Orient and Oriental Parade. And then we came back with The Dentist Chair, which is our biggest production to date, with uh, four actors, uh, Two, two musicians uh, uh, and a, a massive set. Actually, what they won't teach you at school is that the electric chair was invented by a dentist. Um, and I think we brought things right back to where we began with, with a, uh, a, a storytelling piece with, with one actor and one musician in Guru of Chai. Breast, no breast, no breast, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. So after 15 years, it feels like we've grown up. We've grown up in the theatre, we've grown up with a whole lot of audiences, and the, the challenge and the exciting thing is to keep the work fresh for ourselves and fresh for our audiences. It's really exciting now because our work's going to go off to an even bigger audience as we head off to the United States. And I really have no idea what that's going to bring, but I'm very, very excited by it. It'll be their first time to perform in the United States. They have been signed up by well-known American artist representative David Lieberman. All your problems will be gone. Tonight, your loneliness, your emptiness, your painful urination. She's a very exclusive uh, agent who represents um, theatre and dance and music in the States. Uh, so, with David's help, we will be going to Los Angeles in August, uh, Virginia in September, and uh, Nashville and St. Louis in November. Uh, this is our, our debut in, in the States, so we're very excited about what the US market will make of our work. <laughs> she learned quick. She called me the guru of Thai. I can't wait to see what happens in the United States. It still is the land of opportunity. There's more money, there's more people. I mean, I just have no idea what's going to happen, but I'm really excited to follow it and see where it leads us. It is true in life, isn't it? That just when your cup begins to fill, that someone pisses in it. Indian Ink shows no signs of, of stopping, really. We're, we're starting work on a, a new production. The, this, this, the beginnings of, of a, a new idea are starting to emerge. We do have a children's play um, uh, that we're collaborating with Capital E, uh, the National Children's Theatre in Wellington, to, to produce in 2013. And um, we're having uh, a resurgence of Christian's Dairy as, as a feature film, um, which we're, we're talking to a, a very respected producer about forwarding that idea. So, um, yeah, there's, there's no rest for Indian Inc. at the moment. Come on, come on, come on.